texture and ability or flexibility flow. And that's going to be a few moves put together that flow really nicely, help to get the blood moving around the body and help you to stretch out. You could use this as part of a warm up or just to start your day. Okay, we're going to start ballet on our front, hands underneath our shoulders. Side. From here, we're just going to lift nice and gently up into a half cobra. So trying to elongate up through the spine, lift the chin and the chest. This is the first position we're thinking about. Squeeze that core in away from the floor. And relax down a second. We're going to repeat this stretch, only this time we push all the way up into our hands. Try not to have those shoulders and ears together. Lift and have a nice Again, lifting the chin and chest, core is engaged and not sinking into our back, trying to create as long a back as possible. Come back down. At this time, tuck the toes under. You might need to go slightly wider with the hands and also slightly wider with the feet. You're going to lift your bottom up and take it into what's called downward dog. Now, at this position, just tread the feet. So one heel pushes down and one knee bends, and then swap it over. Whichever leg is pushing down on the heel, that leg also needs to be straight. We're also trying to push the hands into the ground and create a nice flat back with the bum high up in the air. Good. And relax a second, just come onto your knees. Shake those wrists out and we'll go into that position one more time. So nice wide hands, nice wide feet, lift the hips and bottom. If you can this time, push both heels down into the ground. Try and look between the knees and push down between the shoulder blades. Obviously if you need to, pad those feet out, the calves are feeling tight. Relax, coming down into the knees, shake those wrists once more. The last position we need to think about is called a higher plank. And that is hands underneath the shoulders, feet about hip width, and shoulders up over the top of the hands, core squeezing in. You're just gonna hold it there for a few seconds. Keep breathing in this position. Good, and relax. So come down onto your front again. To put these together, start with the toes resting on the floor, hands tucked under. You've got either level one or level two lifting up. From here, tuck the toes. You may need to move the hands out a little bit. You're pushing them up into your downward dog position, heels are pushing down. Now bring it forwards into your plank. From here, you can lower to the floor. And that may be a lower from the knees then down or it may be completely through your press up. So we go cobra, try and keep your hands now if you can and move them out if you need to. Step it up to downward dog, heels down to press up or plank position, through your press up, tuck the toes and come back to cobra. And then you just move nice and gently, working through this movement. Keep breathing throughout. You can work this movement as slowly or as quickly as you wish to do. Try and hold in each position just for a couple of seconds and start to feel that blood really pumping around the body. You should feel nice and warm by the time you've done this stretch. We'll go for a couple more times. Bottom up, heels down, come to plank, lower through, press up, and lift. Let's go last time, tuck the toes, push back to plank, through, press up, and just relax there. Sit it back, heels on under your bottom, 
arms reaching forwards, hug the head down. Good, and sit it up, keep it on the knees, hands forwards, reaches up and back, stretch out those shoulders, hands behind the body, clasp and lift up. Shake those wrists out, one hand forwards, just fall back gently on the knuckles. And the same across on the other side. So guys, that was taking you through a mobility flow or a flexibility flow. Warm up that body, you can feel it warming up the back and the back of the legs. Use it to start your day or to start your warm-ups. Follow me for more tips, please like, subscribe and comment. Bye.